Hi, I'm Isabel Thornton, Executive Director of Restoration Housing. In this segment of our Architectural Minute series, we're taking a look at a century of change in the Villa Heights neighborhood of Northwest Roanoke, where our restoration of the Villa Heights Community Center behind me took place. In 1921, Villa Heights was a flourishing new residential neighborhood in the soon-to-be annexed section of Northwest Roanoke. It had previously been farmland, but with Roanoke's development boom at the turn of the century, residential neighborhoods such as these were growing exponentially. Land companies such as the Villa Heights Corporation laid out new suburban developments and invested in streetcar track extensions to make them more accessible. The houses built in the Villa Heights neighborhood around this time were on very large parcels compared to Roanoke's earlier neighborhood lot sizes in Old Southwest and Southeast. They had deep setbacks, an abundance of trees, and they felt open and spacious to many families that wanted more room for cars and a changing family structure. Many homes were made of either clabbered siding or brick veneer with wood construction and were designed in the American four square style. Variations of decorative exterior details are seen with differing porch designs, gable placements, roof lines, and trim, but the simple square design and interior floor plans were often similar throughout. Villa Heights was also a premier location for commercial investment. City leaders considered it as a possible location for the airport as well as the stadium at one point. Where Goodwill Industries is located today, there was a small airstrip before the current airport location was selected in 1929. Villa Heights was a significant hub of development and activity. What's interesting to note is that the neighborhood of Villa Heights never stopped being a hub of activity and the houses and buildings in this neighborhood have continuously represented a community that is both flourishing and thriving. There wasn't a significant period of decline, as there often can be within historic neighborhoods. Today, Villa Heights still exemplifies the attractive allure that it originally advertised itself with at the turn of the century. You can see that residents are proud of their homes and that they are well preserved and cared for, yet there are undeniably still sections of this community which could benefit from more public and private investment. Along Lafayette Boulevard, the wide and defining corridor that signifies the entrance to this neighborhood, there are dozens of beautiful homes as well as small commercial buildings, both with historic architectural features and a pedestrian scale with sidewalks, a bike lane, and generous setbacks. Our organization has long hoped to see this corridor designated as a historic district, much like Henry Street or Grandin Road, as the building stock is not only historically significant, but could also benefit from the incentives for historic rehabilitation that this designation could provide. Our organization's work to restore the neighborhood's namesake was only possible because of those same incentives that were applicable once we had the structure historically designated. The Villa Heights Recreation Center is now a nonprofit co-working hub with offices and programmatic space, serving as both a community resource and a beautiful park for the surrounding neighborhood. We look forward to seeing the continuing investment in Villa Heights historic infrastructure, such as the great work that the Hill Church is doing to restore the Villa Heights Baptist Church on Lafayette into a worship hall and community center. Like many historic neighborhoods in Roanoke, Villa Heights has a fascinating history and a bright future. Thank you for watching this Architectural Minute. Join us next time when we visit Southeast Roanoke and the historic Belmont neighborhood.